Okay, it's the uh, the 7th of February, and uh, we're taking some nitrogen samples here. So that probe on the side of the bike there that we've just seen going down into the ground, it's just in there, that's going down to 60 centimetres, so we're taking two samples, uh, one at 60 centimetres and one at 30 centimetres. And the idea is to be able to ascertain what nitrogen there is residually left over in the soil from last year's cropping. So this is a field called Hill Field, it's after winter oilseed rape. And in a normal year it would be nice to think that there was um, 60 or 70 kilograms of nitrogen that's available for the following crop, in this case winter wheat. Uh, but after the prolonged wet winter that we've had, um, we need to uh, we need to try and find exactly what's in the soil. Once we've worked that out, we can then add that to our nitrogen calculations. And uh, for that, we look at how much nitrogen is within the crop. So we look at the green area index there to see exactly uh, what the crop has already sort of captured. We add that to what's in the soil and then we can work out what sort of yield we're expecting to get from the crop and whether it's a milling wheat variety or whether it's a feed wheat variety. And uh, the difference between what it requires and what it can get from the soil and what it can get from uh, what it's already sort of uh, taken up from the ground and the residual plants rotting down is uh, the difference between the two is basically what we need to apply with the um, uh, the artificial fertiliser. So it's a little bit sticky today but we've got to get on. Hopefully some of these fields will start to get some nitrogen uh, middle of next week. And uh, this is a very good kit, a bit of kit actually. It, uh, it always goes to the same depth. We're actually marking all of these points so that we can come back next year and we can go to exactly the same point in the field to measure the, uh, the nitrogen in subsequent years. So we can track that nitrogen variability within the soil between the different crops and the different seasons, the different amount of rainfall. So it's a good system. The results will be coming soon.